finance minister has made, and I can't remember a budget in recent times, uh, made very special effort to encourage uh, infrastructure and especially the power projects. Whether it is in allowing them to access funds, whether it is in reducing customs duty for imports of uh, machinery used in infrastructure, whether it is in various kinds of um, tax, tax uh, adjusted uh, depreciation, extra depreciation alliance, infrastructure and power, and especially powers which are suffering from coal linkage difficulties, asking Coal India to uh, sign fuel uh, supply agreements. Big boost for infrastructure and power. That's the first positive thing I see. Second positive thing I see is uh, he's tried to bring back the retail investor into the capital market by way of a uh, reduction for uh, investments in equity, by, by way of quite a few other um, uh, and a small announcements spread throughout the budget, bringing back uh, the uh, giving more life by reducing security transaction tax, etc., giving a little more fillip and life to the uh, capital markets. Third, a series of anti-avoidance measures. I think he's talked about TDS on immovable property, TD and TDS on gold bullion purchase, etc. So the government is serious about uh, another thing, black money. Compulsory disclosure of assets held abroad. So if you give a false declaration, you're caught. So three very positive things I can see. If you ask me about the negative side, first, with uh, service tax excise duty going up, with large fiscal deficit, uh, which will probably dissuade the Reserve Bank from bringing down interest rates, inflation will not come down, according to me, in the short run. Second, in view of the recommendations of the Parliamentary Committee, etc., I had expected income tax rates, personal income tax rates to come down a little more, has not come down. And thirdly, the deficit still remains high, that's not the finance minister's fault, that's the political reality of India 2012. That's it.